Okay. I'm going to become... I shouldn't have to become at this point, but, you know, fuck it. That, that's another subject that I've already done. So, on to what I saw online. Someone who usually talks about the greatness of katas put up a thing about how they don't like combinations. They're useless in a fight. Then why do you like kata? It is, the most, it is way more useless. Combos at least give you an idea of what you can possibly do in a fight. If the combo's not working out, you do a different combo. Or you just do a few punches here and there. At least you get a succession of what actually happened in a fight. Instead of what kata is, which is just... Alright, kata does have its placement. If you study it big time, you know, but it's like... Chess and actual learning warfare. There are so many leaps and bounds to figure out what the hell is happening on this board to what is actually happening in warfare. Where they don't teach that in the military, so the fact that we still teach combos, excuse me, kata, yes, kata, to martial arts class just blows my mind. Because you can find things if you want to spend 10 years that might maybe have something to do with it, but it doesn't really. So I have to dig and change. You know, when just a combo gives me an idea of what's actually going to be a fight, for real, legitly, and how to use that. Alright, it's kata, I mean... Okay, it's the difference between war games, which the military uses to show them how to fight. It's not going to be precise because things will change, people's tactics will change, they will alter on the fly on the battlefield. But it gives you a general idea, unlike chess, where you're not even sure what the representation is. And you get the pawn as just the everyday soldier, but you don't know how many units that one pawn represents and whatnot. You get the, the horse or the knights, or the cavalry, but you're not sure how many that represents, and how it's going to work on the battlefield. The bishop is, of course, the bishop doing things on a social manner, because you need to get social things together, uh, political intrigue and whatnot, you need to get your people behind you, because an unpopular war is hard to win. When your people are against, you know, great thing, yeah, so you need them out there talking and whatnot, the queen doing her business, and once you lose the king, you lose the thing, of course, and the rook is, of course, like the man at arms or something like that are the most trusted, high muckety-muck, chief of defense shit like that, you know. But again, you're not going to know that just looking at the chessboard. And when you need to go into battle and it's about to happen quickly, figuring that out is going to take a long ass time. You can't, like, watch a Bobby Fischer match and immediately transfer that to a quick war strategy. I mean, maybe if you're like some like genius fucking general who's been at it forever. So that's the same thing with a kata and trying to make that work. Whereas a simple war game, you can figure that out and utilize that. Maybe old battle strategies that you've read over the years, like Sun Tzu and whatnot. To use on an actual battlefield. Just as you can use combos. I didn't put on today. You can use combos to win an actual fight. Give you something close to what could happen in your fight. Versus kata, where it's like, way the fuck over here, and you have to interpret the whole thing to what it may be used for. I mean, I've seen people trying to explain how kata is useful in a fight. It, it, I've seen historic, like, it's like watching a historical dig on trying to figure out what the Mesopotamians used a particular cup for. No, 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 no. Way too much effort for a simple fight. When you're getting your ass kicked in the street, you're not going to have time to pick 
three little things from a fucking multi-part kata routine or form to figure out how you're going to save your ass in the middle of this fight. Does it have applications? Sure, if you can like dig through it and find it. Or you could just use the combos that are close enough. Now, granted, the combinations aren't going to always be you know, jab, jab, uppercut, or dodge, dodge. And then you have the right hook. Right a shot to the ribs and shit. But it gives you a general idea. What actually is going to happen, you can actually do something like that in the fight. Maybe some other time you have to do positioning, another setup, or something different that you look for what's available from the combinations you've been taught. Maybe figure out how to go on the fly. That is way easier and more something that the Western mind will figure out versus whatever in the heck you're doing with the kata. What's the old sensei quote? To win a war, you must understand yourself. Your enemy and your terrain. Misunderstanding of you leads you lose today. Well, that's kind of how it works in a fight. And having to use a kata, which will take you forever to figure out, versus a combo that gives you a general idea that could work. Just slam. Part is those with the uh, freaking dogs. Anyway, but anyway, combinations make make more sense. They give you a general idea of how a fight is going to work. Are they perfect? No, but you can get a few combos off sometimes. I remember one fight I had where I got three, yeah, the old, the old, the old kick to the gut and two punches routine. I mean, it's usually the two punches and the kick, but anyway, I got it all in the fight. Granted, the next thing I got knocked a few times to the wall, but I followed that up by the good old fucking slip through Muay Thai elbow into that bully headlock that everybody claims doesn't work. But it does. <clears throat> and it went on from there, but anyway. You're not going to get like a 50 hit combo. You got me there. One or two or three things. You even have Mike Tyson showing combos. There's a video of him doing like, you know, where he like moves to the side and hits a bunch of combinations to the body, uppercut and hook. Or go just boom, and one hook. You know. Yeah, I have better hands for doing it. So yeah, combos work. Kata, it, it's way too much effort to dig out the pieces in there that work and have to realign those three little sections of combos to make them work in an actual fight. Because that's what they are. They are screwed up combos that only work if you understand them completely. But it's like the chessboard and the battlefield. This may represent this, but it takes a lot of effort that you could spend doing other things and learning better that you probably never will get correctly to figure out exactly what the original intention here. You can do queen to rook or whatever the hell it is. I don't know, but something gambit and whatever. You can be all Bobby Fisher and shit, but you're not gonna understand <laughs> precisely its application to the actual battlefield. It would take forever to figure it out. Maybe some geniuses could. Maybe they have. But it's a lot easier. It's a lot more precise to just learn battlefield strategies. Just as with martial arts, it's a lot easier to learn combinations that'll give you an actual idea, an indication of what's actually going to happen in a fight. Versus kata. Whatever, I don't know. 